Welcome to this edition of DIY 3D Tech Deck Cam. In this episode, we're going to be doing an unboxing. So, I finally got the CR10 in. Ordered it a couple weeks ago. It took about two weeks to come in. A little bit short, I think. And so, we now have the box here. Box isn't really that big. Um, so, which is sort of a good thing. So, I'm just going to kind of slice it open a little bit, being careful here along the sides. And see how it all is packaged. So opening it up, uh, must not have gotten this side too well. And we open it up and voila! Isn't that beauteous? Look at the size of that bill plate. That, that bill plate is enormous. Um, it's almost getting to where I want to be. Now, the one thing I have to admit, you know, I, I just watched one of the recent episodes of Press Reset and he was mentioning there's a bigger one yet for a little bit more money coming out, which I said, damn, I ordered a little bit too early because I'd like to get up to, this is 300 by 300 by 400 high, and I'd actually like to get up to where I can do a full 12 inches, and I think this leaves me a little bit short because I think the 300 is edge to edge, and so uh, I'd like to get something with like a 16 inch build plate on it, but hey, I bought this one. Now, I did get a super deal on this. Um, I think Banggood or Gearbest, I can't remember which, I'll put it in the link below. I got this from, I uh, was running a special, it was like 400 bucks for this, so uh, I'm not too terribly disappointed in not getting the bigger one, because for 400 bucks to get a printer of this size, this is where I think, folks, this is getting far more serious as a tool, because at 8x8, eight eight, I, I personally just think it's a little bit too small, it's still hobbyist because I think it, it when you start getting near 12 inches here um, you're starting to get where you can build a more serious real product um, especially in a home-based business etc and I'll talk about that in a little bit of future episodes because that's one of the reasons I did get this is I want to really make uh, some unique parts for around the house because I want to use wood based filament so they can be painted um, and I want to make some custom trim for doors and things like that in my home. And I need to be, really I need to do a full 12 inches. And this still is going to be a little bit short. I'm going to try to jury rig some stuff and see what I can do. And I'm also going to see about uh, what I can do to extend this or make this larger in the future. But that will be in future episodes. So I want to go ahead and take this out of the box and let's take a little bit of a look at it together and see what we have. So. I'll probably speed this part up a little bit as I take it out of the box and then uh, we'll come back and kind of talk about what we have. Okay, so I've taken the, the, the two pallets out of the box, and, I, and before I take them, take them out of the, uh, the foam, I really kind of wanted to show the, the, uh, how it comes. And so, very nicely packed, as you can see the bottom portion of the unit over here in its own foam container, pretty much all assembled. The same thing for the upper gantry here. Um, if we remove the park box, which takes up quite a bit of room, you can see that the uh, gantry and all this assembly, including the hot end, is all together. So, as far as the kit goes, it's still very minimalistic as a kit, which is great because uh, should only be a couple bolts to put this whole thing together. So I'm I'm pretty happy about this. Uh, I like the uh, the unit, very much one house stylish unit over here. Uh, I understand. Um, runs Marlin from what uh, Chuck was saying over at uh, Hellebuck Electronic Products and so uh, happy with that. Uh, so all in all it looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, assemble this. There's a number of assembly videos. Chuck did a great job. Press Reset did a great job. So I'm not going to overly get into the assembly of this because one of the problems, not really a problem, I'm going to say challenge. This guy is pretty big so uh, trying to do this in typical fashion on my bench with the camera rigs and everything this is just too big to do that 
So let's go ahead, put it together, and then we'll come back and visit when it's assembled. We'll talk about it. So as I was assembling this, I wanted to stop and show you guys the underside of this. So um, this does look like it's just standard V-rail, unlike the tarantula, which uses a different type of, you know, I would say slot system. And so uh, this bottom piece here, uh, which has the six rollers on, it is actually simply plastic, which is machined out. So what I'm looking at here is this beam for the Y-axis. So it's tapped here and here, here and here at the top, so in four places. So we could put a longer one because it's just got a standard belt system and it just clips on by T-nuts. The motors and, and the pulley assembly here just go on by T-nuts and this is a GT2 belt. So we can make this longer and then create a larger one of these on the CNC plates. And then, um, because the, the heated bed is, a, is, is an aluminumized PCB at the bottom. I don't know if it's, it's, it's uh, glued on or, or what, but it's attached to the aluminum sheet. So we could do a couple of different things. We could get another aluminum sheet uh, and make it bigger and simply bolt it to this. Because one of the things I don't plan on doing ABS on this, so, you know, in short, just PLA. And what I'm thinking about is again, I only need it bigger than 12 in one dimension. So the, the Y would be perfect. So I could extend this beam and then uh, make a bigger one of these on the CNC and then up to about 16 inches long. So instead of here, I could maybe come out to here and then I could get the full 12 inch depth part in that one dimension, which is basically all I need. So that's what I may try for the future. I'm gonna get this running, but I wanted to show and talk to you guys about this. And again, with the six rollers, you can spread this out enough um, where if you did go with a longer one of these, this would actually carry the weight very nice with six of these. I know homofascius.de, I think that's the name of his channel. He removed the center tube because he, con he contended that it, it wobbled. Uh, mine doesn't wobble, so I'm just gonna leave them like it came and, and give it a shot. I, I like the mountings here on the bottom too very nice i probably in the future do something with bed or not bed leveling but you know machine leveling on these put some levelers or something uh and change the mountings but other than that it looks pretty neat so i'm gonna go back to assembling however i just wanted to share this part because if you want to make the machine bigger because that's what i've been looking for is something i can easily make bigger i'm gonna go ahead and order myself some uh black i think this is uh uh 2040 so some extended 24, I'm not sure how long this is, but I'm gonna order a long piece of it and then cut it and then make this, these changes. Um, you know, because again, you might be able to get away even by reutilizing this on a bigger bed uh, using PLA. I'm gonna take a look at machining something maybe a little bit longer and go from there, but uh, we'll see how it goes. We'll start out in steps, but I'm definitely gonna go ahead and order this piece and start planning making this into a much bigger printer. So uh, let's finish building it and we'll see you back over when we get it done. Okay, welcome back. So we've got the Creality CR10 all assembled. It's actually printing. I've got it set here next to the uh, TiVo Tarantula to kind of give you a perspective in size. And as you can see, it's quite a bit larger than the TiVo Tarantula, which is actually a bit bigger than the normal printer because the Wanhao way over down there is, uh, in short, 200 by 200. This is 220 by 220, and that's 300 by 300. So very nice size. Um, so far, it's doing its first print. So pretty happy with it. It uh, seems to be going good, so I'll cross my fingers with this and let it go and print. Um, now one of the things I have done is I have ordered a 12 by 12 uh, PEI sheet for this, so this will be the first and last print on this tape. Um, I'm going to probably remove the glass bed. I'm going to see how level this all is um, with a dial indicator and, and, and decide that when I put the PEIE down. Uh, because one of the things, it takes forever for this bed just to warm up to 60 or 70 degrees C, uh, which is kind of you know not surprising actually especially since it's a DC bed and that's just such a big area so uh, I'll probably experiment with some different temperatures in the future but I think if it doesn't have that whole uh, borsillic glass to heat up will probably you know heat up a lot quicker and be far more efficient now because on the tarantula over there I just have the PEI on the straight aluminum bed 
I've had no problems. Again, I'm a little bit concerned or want to see with the size of this larger aluminum bed if it's going to be a problem, and I'll let you guys know and keep you updated. I'm printing a number of parts for it. I'm printing a camera holder. I'm printing the bed strain relief and some other things. So I'll probably do some videos on installing those and how those work out as well as when I get to the PEI uh, sheet. So anyways, hopefully you found this unboxing and setup interesting. I know I did. I'm really looking forward to this. The other thing I have done is I've ordered a longer version of um, this Y-axis because one of the things I want to do is get a 16-inch bed lengthwise on here. So on this, what I'm going to do is just actually, it extends over on the bed here anyway. So I'm just going to extend it over by several inches and then I'm going to CNC machine a larger bed on the 3040 which is over there and put it down here. And it's not going to be a heated bed. I'm just going to uh, uh, use it as uh, just a large piece of acrylic is what I'm going to use. And I'm going to probably scruff it up. I'm also going to make it interchangeable so I can put this bed back on. Or I can go with the 16-inch bed if I want to create larger things. So anyways, I'll keep you posted how this goes. So far, I'm pretty happy with it, especially for the money. I think it was like $408 uh, for this printer. And so, you know, you can't complain for that. Uh, I pretty much have about that in this one. So uh, anyways, uh, hopefully you find this interesting. If you did, give her a big thumbs up. Uh, also, subscribe button's coming up somewhere over there. Don't forget the Swag Shop. I've updated the Swag Shop uh, a bit, so great stuff out there if you're into the maker stuff. And hey, we'll see you in the next video. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel to keep up to date on all of our projects.